ladies and gentlemen, please check your exhibition area and equipment for any lost or forgotten items and any unusual changes. If you find anything unusual, please inform our security personnel. Thank you for your cooperation. Ein Ersteinsatz der Amerikaner 
gegen Japan mit Hilfe dieses Bombers und dem Flugzeugträger Hornet als Antwort auf den japanischen Unfall auf Tal Harbor. Alright. Peter telling you there about the raid on Japan, the famous Doodle raid. In retaliation for the raid on Pearl Harbor a year later, the USS Hornet had eight of these aircraft loaded aboard. They had to lighten them because they were not carrier-based aircraft, they were land-based bombers. They had to train the pilots in short takeoff. When I say lighten them, they took everything out, armor plate, anything. Even some of the turrets had no guns in it. They had broom handles painted black to simulate the fact the guns were still there. Had to strip any excess weight out of the aircraft to give them the range to reach Tokyo. They then carried on across Japan and into China, where the crews landed wherever they could. They were rescued by the Chinese army and returned to the US. In Yugoslavia, before we moved to Zambia, I became Air Force One.
it's all going to be thunder. I think that's absolutely right. Brad winning the R2800, each producing 2,400 horsepower. Very, very powerful. Probably the, the ultimate development of the piston engine. It's a remarkable piece of kit. Inside the, when you walk inside the DC6B, the first thing you see is a sofa and a very big, very comfortable one that can fold out into a double bed. This is a luxury aircraft like you, you don't understand the word. It has teak furnishings. It's not just luxurious, it's old school, old fashioned luxury. Really is rather beautiful. Thank you. 
Das Glitzern der Zellen und Tragflächen vorzuführen. 